Lee's Logbook. Hello and welcome to the next chapter of Lee's Logbook. I am Lee and this is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. On the last episode, we got through Crystal Cave. We knocked it out of the park. And now we're about to jump right into a cutscene, which is why we're starting on this menu here. You usually don't see this menu. Uh, here it is. Uh, um, so we're gonna, we're gonna jump right in now. We are going to continue our saved adventure, of course. Oh, are you awake? Uh, where? You're in your room at the guild. You were both hurt. You've been sleeping all this time. Uh, are you all right, Lee? Whew. Am I glad to hear it? I remember passing out at Crystal Lake. Seems like I could speak again. Oh, what about Azelf? Is Azelf okay? He's fine. Cinder, compared to you two, his injuries weren't that severe. He regained consciousness earlier. He's in the guild now. Oh, excellent! I'm glad you're okay too, Cinder and Lee. I should let the guild know you're awake. Everyone, they're awake! Oh, really? Awesome! Oh my gosh, that's wonderful news! Whew, I'm mighty glad. If anything would happen to you all, I'd... I'd... Oof. <laughs> you guys are getting so emotional about this? Oh, that's right! There's something that I need to share with everyone. Hey, hey! And what would that be? What? What did you say? You're saying that the Great Dusk Noir and Grovile, they may have known each other from before all of this? Yes, it sounded that way when they were getting ready to fight. Well, then, what became of Dusk Noir? Well, Grovile escaped. I think he went off in pursuit. What? The emergency siren! Hey, Diglett! What's the matter? It's an alert from Magnemite. I'm told it's an emergency call sent out by Officer Magnazone. Deputy Magnemite, please shout your message down to the sentry post. Please speak clearly. Can you hear me? This is about an important announcement from Officer Magnazone. Everyone, please gather at the main square in Treasure Town. He will have a major announcement to make to everyone. All Pokemon in the area have been called for this town meeting, not just those in the guilds. That is all. We hope for your cooperation. Thank you. What's happening now? An important announcement? What might it be? Hey, hey! No point in wondering. Let's go get the answer. Hey, hey! Let's get a move on to the Treasure Town's main square. Chapter 13. Dusk Noir's Secret. Oh, look! The guild members! So the guild's Pokemon were e So the guild's Pokemon were even called. Uh, for them to be called, something serious must be happening. Uh, Azelf! Yuxi! <laughs> Mesprit! Are you alright? You're not hurt. <laughs> yep, I'm okay. The time gear? It's in Crystal Lake. It will be safe there without your protection? It can't be stolen? Yep, it'll be safe for now. The time gear is protected by an encasing cover of crystals. Stealing it won't be easy. Hey! Dusk Noir, sir! Ah, Cinder and Lee! You're safe! I'm so relieved! Dusk Noir, sir, I'm glad to see you're back, too. Thank you for saving us. So... Can you tell me what happened? What happened to Grovile? What became of him? I gave chase to Grovile, but he slipped away from me. Um, Dusknoir, sir. Back at Crystal Lake, when you were fighting Grovile, Dusknoir, sir, you and Grovile seemed to know each other. What was... Zzz, if I may interrupt, zzz, the great Dusknoir plans to explain what he knows, and that topic will be included. Now everyone gather around, please. 
Golly, I wonder what this is all, what this all could be about. Who knows? Don't ask me. Everyone is here. So, I'd like to get this meeting started. Our topic, the rash of time gear thefts. Several time gears have been stolen by the Pokemon Grovilds. In the regions where a time gear has been stolen, the flow of time has come to a standstill. This is a serious problem, as I am sure you can guess. Zzz, Grovile failed. Zzz, failed to steal a time gear. This one was protected. Zzz. Whoa! Hey, isn't that something? And the hero who protected... And the hero who protected it was the mighty Azelf. And the hero who saved Azelf and chased off Grovile. That would be the great dust noir right here. That's astounding. No wonder he's such a famous explorer. Officer Magnuson, I'm sorry to interrupt. Perhaps I should explain from here. Of course, please take it from here. Everyone, while we should be happy that we protected the time gear this time, the fact is Grove Isle remains at large. Therefore, we cannot afford to feel safe and secure. Grove Isle will most certainly make another attempt to steal the time gear. There is another matter that is tied to all of this. It is an extremely important matter that I must share with you. I would like to explain to you now. First, earlier Cinder asked me the following question. Did I know Griver Grovile from before all of this happened? That is correct. I do know Grovile from before all this. What? What I am about to say may be beyond your belief, but it also happens to be the truth. Furthermore, if what I am about to reveal isn't stopped, calamity is certain. I therefore ask for your undivided attention. First, Grovile is... Grovile is a Pokémon that came here from the future. F future? Dad? What does he mean by from the future? I think he means from a place where things are yet to happen. But is something like that possible? A Pokemon coming from the future? Grovile? In the world of the future, he will be a notorious criminal. He has a large bounty on his head. To avoid capture in the future, he fled. And in fleeing, he escaped to this, the world of the past. After arriving in this time, Grovile plotted until he hit upon an utterly catastrophic plan. What is that? What was his plan? It was nothing less than causing the planet's paralysis. The planet's paralysis? Yes. If a planet becomes paralyzed, all movement upon it ceases. When a time gear is removed, the flow of time slows in its region. As many more are taken, time slows as in an ever larger area. Eventually, the planet's flow slows down so much that it stops entirely. Ultimately, the planet reaches a state of total paralysis. If the planet is paralyzed, what happens to this world? In a world where the planet has become paralyzed, no winds blow. The day never comes. Neither spring nor summer ever comes. It is a world of unrelenting darkness. It would be no exaggeration to call it the complete ruin of the world. The world's ruin? Is, is that what happens if the time gears are taken away? The way time has been going out of control lately. That too is caused by the thefts of the time gears. If the time gears continue to be stolen, this world will end in ruin. So, so that's what would happen. This is bad. We've got to do something. Hey, hey, I have a question. There's something that I don't understand. Yes, what is it? I understand that we got a big problem on our hands, but what I don't understand, well, hey, it's about you, Dusknoir, sir. 
Why do you know so much, Desmar, sir? I mean, I know that the great Desmar is knowledgeable and wise. And sure, I really respect you and all. But how could you know the future, no matter how knowledgeable you are? That's true. Come to think. Ah, uh, yes. What Corfish said makes perfect sense. Under normal circumstances, it's true. There is no way that I should know these things. So why do I know these things? It's because I, too, am a Pokemon from the future. What? Dasinoir is another Pokemon from the future? By gosh and golly! This is so complicated, it's making my head spin, yub yub! My objective is to capture Grovile. It is for that reason that I came from the future. I needed to know as much as possible to ensure the capture of Grovile. I therefore studied everything I could about this world while in the future. That is why I know so much about this world. Why didn't you say anything before? I... I'm sorry. I felt terrible not saying anything. I'm sincerely sorry for not revealing my identity. I'm full of contrition, but what if I had been open about my identity from what if I had been open from about my identity from the start? What would have happened if I had said that I was from the future? Who would have taken me seriously? <clears throat> also, I needed to avoid alerting Grovile to my presence. I decided that I should keep my identity hidden while I went about with my work. That makes sense. But it is also a fact that I have been deceiving you. For keeping silent about my identity, I sincerely apologize. No, no. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't apologize. You can't blame yourself. You had no choice. I conquer. Dusknoir has done nothing wrong in my books. We should focus our anger on Grovile. We must somehow capture him. Yeah! We're in deep trouble if we let Grovile go on. <sighs> we need to catch him before the world gets ruined. Dusk Noir, sir, I'll be glad to help. Me too. By golly, me too. Hey, hey, count me in. We will cooperate as well. I refuse to remain a victim. We won't let him steal another one. Everyone, thank you so much. We, as Pokemon, must all work as one to capture Grovile, then put an end to Grovile's calamitous plot. Yeah! Dust Noir, sir. In order to obtain the time gear from Crystal Lake, Grovile knows that he has to defeat me. So if he's still after my time gear, Grovile will come after me. He would turn that against him. He could, we could turn that against him. Mespert as Elf and I can go to Crystal Lake. Then we can all spread rumors claiming that we have gone to seal the time gear so that it can never be taken. If we did that, do you think it would provoke Grovile to strike? I see. You're suggesting that we bait the trap. Yep. But that would mean exposing him to danger as the bait. I'd like nothing more. <laughs> that means stopping Grovile. We're ready to take that risk. Then, I understand. Everyone, let me explain our plan. Please, pay attention, and do your part. First, I would like everyone to spread a rumor, far and wide. Get the word out about the three Pokémon Uxie, Maspret, and Azelf. Spread word that the trio has returned to Crystal Lake to seal the time get away. Please spread the rumor as much as possible. I see. So you want word of this to reach Grovile's ears? That's correct. Grovile won't be convinced by rumor alone. That is why I must ask that the trio of Uxie, Mesprit, and Azelf do something. I must ask them to actually go to Crystal Lake. 
I understand. Then when Grovile shows up to find Azelf and the others, that's when we can catch him. I get it now! Oh my gosh, I'm all fired up with excitement! S arrest, arrest! Hey, hey! I'm calling it. I'm gonna be the one to catch Grovile. No, it is my duty to catch criminals. <laughs> I don't want to get outdone by the others. Let's do our best too, Lee. I'm sorry. I'm grateful for your kind offers. But for the capture of Grovile, I'd prefer to work alone. What? What? Why? Grovile will be extremely wary. Even if we, were to, even if he were to realize that Azelf and the other two have truly gone to Crystal Lake, he will be cautious in the extreme. So, if we were to lay a massive ambush, ambush for him at Crystal Lake, he will undoubtedly notice the unusual number of Pokémon in the area. I'm afraid Grovile would not be lured out by Azelf and the others that way. So I must apologize and insist upon capturing Grovile by myself. Oh, I get it. That's too bad. I'm terribly sorry, Cinder. This time I hope to capture Grovile without any mistakes. Please, forgive my selfishness. That's how it stands, guild members. Up to now, we were capturing Grovile. Yunka! At least that was the plan. This time, stay out of it. We'll provide support only as needed. Well, hey, hey. If that's what it takes. We have no choice. Is that an acceptable plan, Guildmaster? Yep, yep. Thank you for confirming that. Ooh, he stayed awake. Thank goodness. Thank you for hearing me out, everyone. I realize I am asking a huge favor. But please, do your part in our plan. And... Let's capture Grovile using whatever means necessary. Yeah! And thus, Dusknoir and the trio of Yuxi, Mesprit, and Azelf set off for Crystal Cave. In the meantime, the other Pokémon busied themselves, spreading rumors that Azelf and the others were about to seal the time gear away. As for those Pokémon from Wigglytuff's guild, That's the current situation. Until everyone is resolved, we ask that... Until everything is resolved, we ask that you go about your regular duties. Yes, we would like you to spread the rumor as much as possible, but not as much as... Not as much that it would make Grovile suspicious. Try to be natural. Go about your jobs in the usual manner. And when possible, spread the rumor. That is what we would like you to do for at least the next few days. That is all. All right, everyone. Let's have another good day of work. Hooray! Oh, you two! Today, take jobs on the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. That will do! The Exploration Team Federation has sent a message. The special episode, Today's Oh My Gosh, has been unlocked. To play a special episode, select it from the episode list in the top menu. If you'd like to play the special episode, save your interest right to the top menu. Okay. So we're just going to be going back to normal now. This is almost going to feel a bit weird. <laughs> Let's see. What kind of jobs do we have? Well, actually, let's see what we have on our actual job list. Hmm. Maybe we should go after this Kabuto. Try to capture it. Let's see if we can do anything else in the drenched bluff while we're at it. Nothing here. <laughs> Nothing here either. <laughs> Alright, well, 
let's get rid of all these old jobs anyway, so that we could just make do with new ones. We should be fine to just head out. Although, I mean, I guess for training, I should probably bring a couple people. Let me go talk to Chimeco real quick. Whoopsie. There we go. Let me go talk to Chimeco real quick. Alrighty. Um, members. We're fighting a Kabuto. So, Loom could be helpful. He's level 15. And... Hungry might actually be able to help us as well. Poor Sheila. Sheila could help. Although Sheila's level one, so that might actually be pretty dangerous. Um, hmm. We also have Diggs. He could help too. I think I might actually bring... Hmm. Eh, I think I'll only bring Plume. I don't think I really need anyone else. And honestly, I don't even know if I need Plume, but... Eh. We got old jobs to do, so let's go do those jobs. Man. Back to normal gameplay. Let's go to the Drenched Bluff. We're probably, like, a super high level for this stuff now, so... Why not? Wow. Oh, but I'm getting sleep seeds from this stuff? Oh, this... If I actually get, like, items... Oh, man, max elixir, too? That's what I'm talking about. This might be a better idea than I thought. All right, so hold on. Let me, um... Others... I should object... Find a white gummy on fourth floor. Got it. Alright, so this is, what, third floor now? Mud sport! How could you? Get him, Plume. Nice. Come here. Um. I believe we. Do we already have an Anorith? I think we might. Nah, I'm good. I'm good! Alright, so that was third floor. Now we're on the fourth floor. Now we gotta find a white gummy. Alright, so there's the stairs to leave. That was super quick. Now all we gotta do is just find this gummy. Um... There it is. All right, cool. <laughs> I mean, simple as that, really. Get out of here. Get out of here. A la leap. I mean, that's another grass type. Sure, why not? Let's nickname this Laleep. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Um, I think this leap's name. I don't know if you could hear that, but my dogs are going nuts right now. Um, I am going to name, I'm gonna name, I 
I'm gonna name you Sprout. I don't know why. I just feel like naming you Sprout. Your name's Sprout. Come on, Sprout, you level three adventurer. Orenberry, I will take it. I will always take an Orenberry. Sprout leveled up. <laughs> nice. Um, all right, so this is the fifth floor. It's the next floor that we're looking for. Uh, to fight off. Um, the Kabuto. Sprout grew to level five. My lord. Sprout, you're gonna be leveling up like a madman, aren't you? Look at all that money. Look at all of that money. All right, let's find... Really? With the stairs. I will take that. Heal seed, take that too. Got 15 points in the bank, why not? <sighs> oh, regular missions again. And the good night sequence. You still awake, Lee? I have to admit that today was full of surprises. The great Dusknoir's talk about coming from the future? That was mind-boggling. Dusknoir pursued Grovile from the future to our world. He came to apprehend that wicked Grovile and to take him back to the future. That's why the job of capturing Grovile is his responsibility. We have to trust Dusknoir about this. To be honest, I'd like to capture Grovile ourselves, but I'm not up to the task yet. We don't have any choice but to depend on Dusknoir after all. Lee, I guess you're asleep. I'd better get to sleep, too. It'd be great if Grovile gets caught soon. Good night, Lee. Good night, Cinder. Up and at him. It's morning. Ah, good morning, Lee. Would you like to save your adventure? Absolutely, I would like to save our adventure. Oh, Bloom and Sprout is still in the squad. Ahem. So here's where it stands. We have not yet received word of Grovile's capture. Hey, hey, are Miss Bird and his friends all right? We don't know that either. We've received no information at all. We're in the dark. That said, we can't go off on our own to spoil the trap. We still have to stand down until we receive word of some sort. Until then, we should carry on with our usual work. So everyone, let's get back to work today. Hooray! Ah, you two! Today, take jobs from the job bulletin board and the outlaw notice board. That'll do. You got it, sir. You got it, chat chat. We'll take care of this. Um, what kind of jobs do we have? Ruffy and Geodude in the drenched bluff. We'll take it. We will take it. Ruffy and Geodude. Not to stop him. Anything else in the drenched bluff? Nope. Nope. Alright. I mean, I guess we'll head back to the drenched bluff. And just do whatever until something happens. But... That will have to wait until next time. So, if you enjoyed today's interesting information-filled video, we learned a lot about Dusk Noir today and Grovile, both of them coming from the future, and then please 
leave this video a like. And if you are excited to see where all of this goes and you want to see more and you have not subscribed yet, consider subscribing and more will be sent directly to you. Plus, you'll be a part of Lee's League. And as always, I will see you guys next time.